Remember me? 
¿Qué es el guapo? You have so little to offer me. This will not do. You know how much I have always depended upon your generosity. Winter in the mountains can be long and hard. Last year's harvest was a poor one. We had barely enough for ourselves. Ah, he lies, el guapo. We kill him. Jefe, jefe. We are not animals. We do not kill people for no reason. Sometimes we do. We will be very happy to share with you what we can spare. Can you spare the lives of your women, of your children? What can you spare, old man? When the moon is full, we will return. They leave us with nothing. At least they leave us with our lives, Carlos. We must find men who can protect us. And with what would we pay these men? We will find a way. We have no choice. <laughs> This morning with a grin on my face got a great big smile for the whole human race and i love everybody and i want you to know got the world by the balls and i'll never let go and i don't give a damn if they take me away because i'm so goddamn happy he's so gosh darn happy i'm so goddamn happy today I have waited three and a half years for this day. Well, just take it easy with flu. I will, I will. Just see if you can get me more real acting moments where I can show my range. Because you know what? That's what's bringing the women into the theater. That's what's bringing the women into the theater. That's why I'm known as the profile. You're the one who calls yourself the profile. You made that up. So it's a thing. It's working for me. Call yourself the profile long enough. Pretty soon, everybody. <laughs> Breakfast is served. <laughs> Streamlining, Mr. Flugelman. Streamlining? We're talking streamlining here. Those guys in New York, they think we sit around all day pulling our putts. They think I don't know how to run a studio. They think I don't know how to trim our sails, how to separate the wheat from the chaff. We'll be doing some sail trimming and chaff separating. Streamline the art department. Streamline the legal department. Yeah. Streamline yeah. props. Streamline yep. costumes. Yep. Streamline the music department. Mr. Bottoms, Mr. Day, Mr. Niederlander. Can I have your autograph, please? Can I have your autograph, please? Oh, that's great. Happy. Oh, that's this is what it's all about. I love you. Oh, oh. Lucky. Oh, 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 we really have to go. Goldsmith Studios is going to make people movies, Morty. Movies about people, made by people, with people in them that people want to see. Makes a lot of sense, Mr. Flugelman. More people movies. They just called from the gate, sir. The three amigos are on their way up. We'll just be a minute. Tell them to wait. Morty! 
What are we doing with the Three Amigos? Sandy and Irving are working on something right now where the Three Amigos meet Cochise. Uh-huh. Their last picture, Rob. Those darn Amigos. That was a big mistake. Too sophisticated. Not enough of a people picture. However, Miss Renee was swelling it, don't you think, Morty? Oh, the best thing in the picture. Best thing in the picture. She's a beautiful woman, Morty. She really is, Mr. Flugelman. She's going to be a big star. I'm sure of it. You know, Morty, the studio has a lot of money tied up in Miss Renee. And she's worth every penny of it. Morty! You've got to watch the budget on this Cochise picture. This is the Three Amigos' last chance. We've already streamlined it. We're going to take the boys down to Baja and shoot the picture in eight days. Great! Streamlining. That's the ticket, Morty. Thank you, Mr. Sugun. All right, Don't worry about these cold. your arm. Leo! All right, Unfortunately, we were forced to play second fiddle to that French cow. Were you speaking about Miss Renee? Yeah. The oops girl? Woo! Stinko. Why don't you tell the boys about the code cheese picture, Morty? Sandy and Irving are working on it right now. You meet Cochise. At first, you think he's a terrible guy. You fight. Then, you get to know him, you come to respect each other, and at the end of the picture, you're friends. We send you boys to Baja, and we shoot the picture in eight days. What do you think? That'll be the day. What did he say? He said, that'll be the day, Mr. Flugelman. What? I don't think you understand who you're talking to here. We have a few items we want to straighten out first, or you might be looking at three actors who really don't feel like making a Geronimo picture. What the hell are you talking about? Lucky, I think maybe we should... <clears throat> what we're talking about is money. Real money. Amigo money. No dough. No show. Plus, I see a new type of picture for the Amigos. No more of these people-type movies. Yeah, much less streamlining. Boys, boys, let me just say one thing. It'll be a cold day in hell when Harry Flugelman lets an actor tell him what to do. Do you know what the word nada means? In all those Mexican movies you made, did you ever hear that word? Isn't that a light chicken gravy that you just... It means nothing. Zero. Zip. It's what you're gonna have when I'm through with you. You hit Harry Flugelman on a bad day. I'd like to continue to work for free, Mr. Flugelman. <laughs> Are you living in the studio mansion? 
Yeah? Well, not anymore, you're not. Morty, move Miss Renee into the studio mansion. The Amigos are out of the mansion. Miss Renee is in. Out of the mansion? They have cars and drivers, too, Mr. Flugelman. You stay out of this! Get rid of the cars! No more cars for the Amigos. Where did you get those clothes? From a movie? Yeah, the studio gave them to us, those darn Amigos. Well, we're taking them back. Sam! Get wardrobe over here right away. Take the Amigos clothes. Wait a minute. You can't take our clothes. You gave us these clothes. They were presents. Come on, wait a minute. Hold it. Wait a second. Wait. I think you misread who you're talking to here. Misread? I want these schmucks off of my lot. Your asses have just been streamlined. The three amigos are history. And Mr. Flugelman says you're not to come back on this lot ever. I know show business. Something always turns up. Telegram for the three amigos. <laughs> More Frightingers. Rodrigo said to be 50, now there's three. Better not try to cut our money. Dusty, are you ready? 